Hi, Creekside. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Welcome to our last recording or class of this session. For today, we are going to do a big review. Big review. Remember, review means learn again. Make sure we remember, remember everything we learned. Let's begin. The first topic in our student packet was about health. Do you remember first topic was health? So we learned body parts and how to talk about if something hurts or if you have symptoms. Let's do a quick review. What is this? The big thing here. This is her head. And on her head, we have lots of different body parts. Let's review those body parts. What is this? Eyebrow, eyebrow. The hair above your eye is your eyebrow. What do you see here? I see lips. I see teeth. Lips, oops, are here, and teeth, white teeth. So we use the word teeth if we're doing plural. Singular is tooth, tooth. So if we have one tooth or two teeth, three teeth. Four teeth. Good. And what is inside your mouth? What is that? Good. How do you spell it? T O N G U E. Tongue. Tongue. This is your tongue. Great. Do you remember what it's called right beneath your mouth? We call that the chin, chin, like your language, haka chin, chin. We spell C-H-I-N, your chin is right below your mouth. What is she touching? How do we call that? Cheeks, cheeks, those are her cheeks. Very good. Okay. We ask this question when there is a problem, when something is wrong. We ask, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter with him? What's the matter? My eye hurts. Hurts. My eye hurts. Good. So if something hurts or has pain, we can ask, what's the matter? What's another way we can say the question, what's the matter? We can say, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Or what's wrong? What's wrong with me? Arm hurts, good. My arm hurts, hurts. And remember, if I say my, I'm talking about me, my arm hurts. If I'm talking about another person, I can say he or his arm hurts, her arm hurts. This example is if it was me, my arm hurts. Very good. That's a quick review of our healthcare unit. The next unit is housing. Housing. We talked about different rooms in a house. Let's review. Do you know what room? What room is this? This is the bedroom. The room with a bed called bedroom. 
say bedroom. This is in a bedroom usually. How do we write L-A-M-P, lamp. This is a lamp and lamps are usually in the bedroom. Lamp, big lamp, little lamp, gives us light. What is this? What do we call this? This is a dresser, dresser, oops, dresser. A dresser is where we put our clothes inside the drawers of the dresser. Do you have a dresser in your bedroom? That's the bedroom, good review. What is this room? What room? This is the room with the bath. We call it the bathroom. Bathroom. Listen, it is different than bedroom. Bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, bathroom. What is this in the bathroom? Oh, we have two pictures. What is it called? Sink. This is a sink. I wash my hands in the sink. I wash my face in the sink. What is this? I stand, I'm standing. I stand up. Shower. When I'm standing up, it is the shower comes out of the top. I take a shower in the morning. I take a shower in the morning. What if I am sitting down, sitting down? This is called, just like the name of the room is bathroom. This is called a bath. Do your children take a bath at night? Do your children take baths? Good. The next room, so we had bedroom, bathroom, next room is, what do we call this? Living room, living room. This is where we do a lot of talking with our friends and family. We spend a lot of time in the living room. That's why we call it living. We do a lot of living in the living room. What is this called? She is sitting on a sofa, or we can say couch. These are kind of both the same. She's sitting on a sofa, she's sitting on a couch. Couch. Good. If you can um, sit with a friend or another friend or another friend here. It is a couch or sofa, but only one person is a chair. Sometimes I sit on the couch and I watch TV. TV, sometimes I sit on the sofa and I watch TV, TV or television. That's short for Television, TV. That's the living room. What room is this? She cooks in the, she's cooking in the kitchen. She is cooking in the kitchen. Kitchen, how do you spell kitchen? K 
K-I-T-C-H-E-N. She is cooking in the kitchen. Kitchen. And sometimes I cook on this. What is this called? The whole thing is a stove, but this part on the top is called stovetop. Stovetop. Maybe yours looks like this or like this, or maybe it's electric and it is flat. Stovetop. I cook on the stove. But if I open it up and I put food inside, what is it called? Oven. Oven. This is the oven. If I open it and put food inside and I set a timer and I wait for a long time, the oven cooks the food. Good. So stovetop, oven. What is this? Do you remember? How do you spell it? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Oops. Refrigerator. Sometimes we just call it the fridge. It is cold in the fridge, cold in the refrigerator. But it is colder, colder in the freezer. Freezer is colder. Frozen food, vegetables, and meat go in the freezer. Good, so these are all in the kitchen. Do you remember what this is called? What are these? These are cupboards, cupboards. I put my plates in the cupboard. I put my salt in the cupboard. I put my pans and pots in the cupboard. Cupboards. And then what is this usually next to the cupboards? It makes food really fast. Microwave, oops, microwave. Oh my goodness. Microwave. Do you have a microwave? Good, so we have different rooms in the house, bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen. And sometimes in the house we have problems. We can ask, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's the matter? What's the matter? Sometimes we have problems in the house. Can you tell me what is the problem? What is the problem here? There are mice. There are mice. Uh-oh, oops. That is a problem. So if there's more than one, plural is mice. One, two, three, four mice in the house. That's a problem. What's the problem here? There is a cockroach. There is a cockroach. So there's only one. So we say there is a cockroach. Remember back here with the mice, we said there are mice. There are mice. Uh-oh, what's the problem? There are bed bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, gross. In the mattress, on the bed, there are bed bugs. That is a problem. All right, what's the problem here? We can say it two ways. The toilet 
isn't working or the toilet is broken. The toilet say isn't, isn't working. The toilet is broken. That's a problem. We need to flush the toilet. What is the problem here? Do you remember? The window is broken. The window is broken. Maybe children were playing outside and they kicked a ball into the window and it is broken. Okay, this one's tricky. How do you say this? Do you remember? When there's water coming down, maybe it was raining. He does not look happy. He looks maybe surprised or mad. The ceiling is leaking, leaking. Water is dripping from the ceiling. It is leaking, leaking, not good, not good. Say, Ceiling, good. What's the problem here? He looks cold, he looks cold. And maybe he's taking a shower. So why is he cold? Why do you think he is cold if he's taking his shower? We say, there is no hot water. There is no hot water. There is no hot water. No hot water. So it's only cold. Burr. I like hot water. That's a problem if it's only cold. Why is he cold? What's wrong? There is no heat. No heat. It is very cold. There is no heat. What's the problem here? The carpet is stained. So maybe there is a cup of coffee and the coffee spilled and it was on the carpet. Now the carpet is stained, stained. That means that this is different than the normal carpet, it is stained. And we cannot make it or clean it. We cannot clean up the coffee. It is stained, stained. All right, this is the last example of a problem in the house. What if there's smoke and it is not beeping? What's the problem? The smoke alarm isn't working. The smoke alarm isn't working. It needs to go beep, 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 but it isn't and that is dangerous. We need the smoke alarm to make a sound to tell us if there is smoke or a fire in your house. We need new batteries, batteries for the smoke alarm so it will work. Very good. Okay, the next section we're gonna practice and review is called looking for work, looking for work. Remember when we reviewed how to find a job and different examples of different jobs? Let's see what you remember. Looking for work review. When I ask this question, what do you do? How do you answer the question? Usually we say, I am blank. And you say your occupation. For me, for example, I would say, I am a teacher. 
This is what I do with most of my time. You could say, I am a student. I am a student. I am learning English. That is what you do. This question is about occupation. What do you do? Maybe somebody could say, I am a cook. I am a cook. Or I am a stay at home mom. I stay at home with my children. Good, these are all different types of occupations and how you can answer what you do. Let's review. What job? Doctor. Doctor. Good. What job? Teacher. Teacher. What job? He is making food in a restaurant. He is a cook. Cook. He is a cook. Do you remember the job when somebody is telling other people what to do? He is the boss or in charge. And sometimes we call him the manager. Manager or supervisor. Manager or supervisor. Okay. What is this job called? What does she do? She is a cashier. Cashier. Do you remember? Cashier. She takes money and makes change. Maybe she works at Walmart. Maybe she works at Walgreens. Maybe she works at a clothing store. She works at the register. She is a cashier. Cashier. Okay, what is it called when somebody drives in a truck and delivers packages? He is a delivery man or delivery driver. Delivery driver. He delivers packages in a truck, usually. He delivers packages. Good. What is his job? Do you remember? Custodian. Custodian. He cleans and fixes things in the building. Maybe a school or hospital. He is a custodian. How do you spell it? Custodian. Good, this is an important job. What does he do? He carries the mail into the houses and companies. He walks around and drives a truck. We call him a mailman, mailman, or mail carrier. Carrier, mail carrier. That's different than a delivery driver. This is packages. A mail carrier is just different pieces of mail. This is not a doctor, not a doctor. He is a nurse. Good, he is a nurse. What does she do? What does she do? What job? She is a seamstress. A seamstress. We say seamstress. She is a seamstress. She makes clothes. Maybe she works in her house or maybe she works somewhere else. Very good. What is this job? Do you remember? Landscaper. Say landscape. Landscaper. He 
makes yards beautiful with flowers and grass. He works outside. What is this job? Auto mechanic. Auto mechanic. He works on cars. He fixes cars. Mechanic. Do you remember this job? Housekeeper. She is a housekeeper. She cleans hotels and other houses. She is a housekeeper. What do they do? They are food processors. Food processors. They process food at the factory or food processing plant. They work with and package food. What are they, what do they do? What do they do? They are cafeteria workers. This is another picture. She is a cafeteria worker. She gives children some food for lunch. Cafeteria worker. What job? Farmer, good farmer. She is a farmer. She works outside and grows food, vegetables. What job? Office worker. He is an office worker. He works on a computer and he fills out paper. And what do you do? I am a student. You can say student or they are students. Good. They're learning in a classroom at school. So if you have a job interview, if you apply for a job and you're trying to talk to somebody about a job, then you have to remember to do this. What is this called? Shake hands, shake hands. This is how we say hello to someone we have never met. Nice to meet you. Shake hands, it is very polite. Something else you need to do is smile. She is smiling. That is important and polite to smile. It is also important to look at somebody in the eye. What do we call that? Eye contact. Look at your partner, make eye contact. Very good. All right, the next and last unit we're going to review is money. We just talked about money. Do you remember the type of money that this is called? When it is dollars and coins, we call it cash. This is cash. What is this called? Card. Specifically debit card, debit card. And what is this called? When I write a blank for my rent, I write a check. I write a check. Very good. And where do I put my money? In a bank. Maybe Wells Fargo, US Bank, Bank of America. Let's choose an answer for this. So fill the blank here. This is a place where you deposit money you want to spend soon. Is it a banking account? savings account, bank account, checking account. You deposit money you want to spend soon. The correct answer is 
checking account, checking account, oops. Checking account is where you use your debit card out of your checking account and it's money that you want to spend very soon. Here's another question. What does this word mean? Deposit. Take money out. Put money in. Put money out. Take out of ATM. Deposit means put money in, letter B. I want to put money into my bank account. Put money into my checking or my savings account. Good. How do we ask the question about this item? How much is this toaster? Good, how much is this toaster? And how can we answer? It is, I don't know, for example, $15. How much is this toaster? It is $15. How can we ask this question? How much are the mugs? How much are the mugs? How do we answer? They are blank. They are maybe $25, for example. Are, because this is plural, one, two, three, four, five, are. How much are the mugs? They are $25. What is this? Can opener, can opener. What is this? What are these? Potholders, potholders. Very good. So that's our money review, as well as our big review over everything we learned this session. You have learned so much. Thank you for studying and working hard. Now I will talk about the break. We have a break from classes for Christmas break. That means no class, no class for four weeks, no class. Four weeks, no class. We will start class again on Tuesday, January 18th. January 18th, Tuesday. Before that, no class, four weeks, no class. So you can um, ask Sweepar if you have any questions, um, but I hope that you have a great break and a Merry Christmas and I will miss you. Bye everybody.